All right, fellas, here's what we're doing. Come here, I need your help and your opinions. Right in the center. This is a 2002 Cadillac Escalade. This is a 2000 GMC Yukon. What we wanna do today is cut the roof off one of these two vehicles. I'm not sure which one yet. We have to check our TikTok and Instagram and YouTube votes. They voted on which one we're gonna take off, but I also need your opinion on what we're gonna do. a video that's been a year in the making. I'm not about to spend 70 grand on a brand new Ford Bronco and Jeep Wranglers just don't have enough power. So what I want to know is, can you cut the roof off a Cadillac Escalade, a Chevy Tahoe, a GMC Yukon and make a convertible out of it with just a little bit of ingenuity and some saw blades? I have no idea if this thing's going to run when we're done. You're going to find out with us. My name is Craig with Flying Wheels. Let's get started. So in the 70s, GMC made a blazer that the roof was off, like a Jeep Wrangler. That's what I want to do. So that's why I bought this vehicle like a year ago. But just last week, I bought this one. Now the difference between the two is this has a six liter V8. So it has a better, bigger engine. That is a 5.3 liter V8. This is more comfortable to drive, better towing capacity. That already has a faded roof. So cloth interior, leather interior. Either way, I'm putting like neoprene seat covers over it, okay? So I guess the first thing we need to do is look at the roof line and make sure it's even Impossible. I got you here today, my brother, Adam, because you better at a lot of the stuff than I am. So I want your professional opinion. And I got you guys here today just because I thought it'd be fun. So let's check out the Escalade first. And here's what I'm thinking. Tell me your opinions after, okay? So like the Bronco, Adam. Yeah. The Bronco keeps the roof line right here, yep. okay? Now my idea was no roof line. I want it gone. But what about the rigidity of the, of the windshield, okay? Good chance of broken windshields if we get a lot of flex in the body. It's a full frame vehicle though. It shouldn't have much flex in the body. See, that's why I brought you. Okay. I don't think it should flex. You know, if it were a unibody truck, yeah, I would be concerned about that for sure. But a full frame vehicle, I'm not too concerned. Now, there's also going to be a lot more electronics in the roof of the Esc Escalade than the Yukon one would think. The other thing we need to do is follow the body line. So I'm thinking we could just remove the doors instead of cutting the doors. That way we have like a Jeep style. You just have no doors? No doors. Huh, Why, would you cut it? Cut I'd it? Chop them. What are you going to do with em? the doors? I'm not going to do anything. So should so we chop, chop them? them? If you're gonna, not going to use them anyways, just cut them. So chop them and then remove them if we want. Want to. All right, so we're gonna chop them. It goes, I'm thinking we're just gonna follow this line. We'll snap a line right here, okay? But Adam, again, where I want your opinion is the line is already a factory line. Should we just nice. do it at the factory line? Sounds good to me. Instead of following this body line that my hand just did, yeah. follow this line right here. I'm for it. Uh, that's, yes. I know we're doing this car yet. Well, we haven't, but the idea is the same because it's a similar vehicle. Can I ask a question? Yeah, please do. So I was thinking about this. When we actually cut the roof off of this and your lift gate opens like this, guys, if your lift gate opens like this, where are the hinges? The hinges are up here. So if the hinges are up here and it has no roof, how is the lift gate going to work after we cut the roof off? What Uncle Adam's saying is if we cut it off from right here, this whole thing is gonna come off, meaning we have no gate. And then what you have to do is cut the gate here and put hinges on the bottom off of the Silverado so it flips down like a truck bed. Exactly what I thought of, actually. I did think of that problem already. I don't have the hinges, but I you did think that's what I mean. Yeah, like an old truck bed you can just put on there. So what Adam is saying is once this is off, we're gonna cut it here and we're gonna put tailgate hinges from like a pickup truck. So then it like okay? holds down. Like exactly, Brady. So we'll do this like and close it like a truck yeah, bed. Like All right, now let's go over to the Yukon. I'm gonna grab the keys for it. This is a 2005 GMC Yukon, which kind of makes it worth a little bit more money. Now I own this truck for more than I own this truck for. I paid $1,700 for it, plus it needs a transmission, which I actually have. So I'm gonna own this truck for more like $2,500, whereas this one I own for like $1,300 or $1,400. So that's kind of why I'm leaning towards this. E-Lane, gotta love it. Gotta love the, the repos. All right, now this Yukon though, it has aggressive tires, it has kind of rougher wheels, decent paint in some areas. It's like lifted more though, so I think it would look cool enough. I thought the same thing. That body kit on the Escalade kind of makes it look lower. And this has a higher ride height. So it's more trucky than the Escalade. Can I also point out that when we drop a few hundred pounds worth of roof, it's probably gonna be a little higher too. Ooh, that's a good point. See, Uncle Abba has all the good points. All right, let me ask you this. I'll ask all three of you guys this question and you guys. You're sitting at a stoplight at the lake, right? Because this is going to be my towboat vehicle. You see a chopped Escalade or a chopped Yukon. Which do you go, 
Oh, wow. More too. Um, Escalade. I would have said opposite. Okay. We're going to go check the votes right now, and that's the one we're deciding on. Fair? Deal. Okay. All right, votes are in. I have not checked, all right? I'm tearing the roof off one of these vehicles. I want to make like a 70-style K5 Blazer out of either this GMC Yukon or this O2 Escalade. Or do I do it with the Yukon? Please tell me. Let's I find out the votes. I vote one. I'm going to go Yukon. Oh, 73% said Cadillac. Yukon. 57% said Cadillac in the second video. I want the Yukon, but everyone else said. Let's just do the Escalade. No! It's the Escalade. The Escalade it is. That's what I would do. All right, do. that's what we're doing. Let's get started on it. All right, fire it up. Oh, yeah, listen to that six liter purr. Keep it in park. Give it some gas. Oh, that sounds good. LQ9 showing off all its power. All right, let's move some cars around and I'll let you move in just a second. You stay there. Keep it running. First things first, what do we need to do for safety precautions? Disconnect the battery. We're disconnecting all the power from this vehicle because we don't want any airbags going off. And as my brother Adam had mentioned yesterday, which is a great point, we don't want to have any leftover charge in anything too. So I'm going to touch both terminals, let it kill everything. You don't want any airbags going boom once you're working on the car. Especially with these homeboys around. That would be terrible. I'm disconnecting the battery. This is where all your juice comes from, okay? With the battery disconnected, you now have no power. The car will not start, okay? But, you know when you disconnect something and like the light still turns on a little bit, like it looks like there's still a little bit of juice left over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The car still has that. If we touch these, <laughs> it kills everything. It pulls all the juice out of the car. So it's hot in here, otherwise I'd have you guys do it, but I'm just gonna hold this for a few minutes. Let it pull everything out, drain all the juice, and then we should be safe, maybe? Oh, yeah. I don't know, we're kind of learning all together, including you guys. That's a used car dealer trick to get rid of check engine lights. That actually is true. <laughs> do you guys agree with my keeping the Tahoe style Bronco roof or just going all just at it? go all the way. But we, need, we have like dome lights and stuff. I kind of like the convertible Roadster style. Yeah, oh, I got some. Come here, follow me. Oh. I'm about to tell you about this. Light bulb. So for everybody that's watched my videos, if you look way over there, there's a white Jeep Wrangler. Oh. When I bought that white Jeep Wrangler, oh, it came with something. Follow me. I saved it for this reason. A roll bar. Ooh. I think the truck would look that much cooler with this, right? That's pretty cool. So we have like with surfboards on top. I had to learn how to Wait, surf too. Really but we could, yeah. Oh, and it's a Garvin. I've never heard of that, but it sounds good. All right, let's get let's get started. All right, so we start taping, but now I have a, another question. We decided we're cutting the tops of the doors. Is that what we decided? Uh, Makes yeah, sense to me. No, you're. We're gonna, I say we keep the windows. And yeah. Then we're gonna cut it. Cut and then, the top of the doors. So we want. I want probably this belt molding right there. Yeah, Use this belt molding as the line. All right. And so then take off the doors if we need to. Oh no, you got to keep the windshield. You got to keep the mirror. Yeah. Well, you got to keep the mirror. So do I cut it right here? Yeah. You can, but then it'll look. I guess either way, it's gonna look a little wonky. You either have the line here or you have. The line here. I guess keep it here. Yeah. Well, let's try it and we can cut it more. Which is, yeah. Measure once, cut three times. Yeah. All right. So let's do some taping. Boys, we need a straight line. That was my what my chalk line was for. But have Uncle Abba, since he is the body specialist, have him show you how to tape a straight line. So I've never done anything like this before. You know, I've put tape on a car, I've cut metal. I've never really cut the roof off a truck like this. But if I were going to, I'd leave like a convertible. We have a two to three inch piece of roof right here, right? Yeah. Do you concur? I, I do. So do you want the antenna or do you want to mix keep, it? I think we should keep it. So we got to go a little higher than that. Then. I agree. So we're going to be like eight inches up. Okay. All right. I have a, a perfect eight inch ruler if you want to use it. Yeah. I'm glad I had questions. So I know I said chop first, ask questions later, but <clears throat> I can't help it. I have a couple questions. Number one, the tail light harness. Where the, where's the brake light wire? Because we're going to need those. That's a great question. Number two, fuel pump wiring. What if we cut oh. into a wiring harness and now we have no fuel pump, no tail lights, reverse lights? Who knows? Yeah. Air ride? Whatever that's, else. That's actually what I was thinking. The you were thinking that too? It was really his idea first. I'm nervous about that wiring harness now. Oh, well, it's your truck. You tell me when. Let's just start. Let's do it. You know what? You know what it feels like when something doesn't feel right. We'll we'll figure it out. Go well, turn the key on. See what happens. Okay. That's a terrible idea. Don't do that. All right, everybody, duck. Good. All right, no fires yet. The windows still work. Oh no! That's a <laughs> safety windows. That's not gonna look too much like a hot rod. Just a lot of variables we didn't think about. Yeah, get the hammer. Get smashed.
found the pigtail, which is great. So we can disconnect this. Wow. What about Nicely the black done. one? Where's the black one go? The ground. I think it's a vacuum. Oh, yeah. You know, it for the washer? washer. Yeah, it's the a washer. windshield washer. Cut it. Give it a chop. Don't need to. Tear it. Don't even need to because it has quick disconnects. Oh, I love it. Right? All right, stand back because we're going to release this thing. Why, is it going to fall off? That's the idea. All right, I got it here. Logan, you get that last, uh, Brady, you go get that last bolt while Logan videos. Ooh, don't pinch your fingers though. Count of hoots. Close catapult. Hoots. One, two, three. Wait. Wait. Send what? Come down a little bit. Yeah, come, come down. Oh, geez. All right, now you go up. You got to unlatch the glass. Oh, this is dangerous. We're in a pickle. You're getting this on camera. We're in a pickle. You got to unlatch the window. Hoots. The glass is still connected. The tailgate's off, but the glass is connected to the tailgate. But wouldn't the whole thing come off? No. So I have to connect the battery again? No, we got to. I unplugged the harness. That's the only way to disconnect the glass. There's no emergency release. I unplugged the harness. Oh, it's There's right. No it's right there. It's right there. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's let's close it. Let's close it. Bring it down. You know what's good about this video? Oh. A lot of people are gonna see what not to do. Yep. Oh. Whoa! It's electric. Oh. It's not electric. Look, oh. it's right here. Snip oh, that. We have some more. Oh, there you go. All right. Okay. You got the glass? Yeah, I got the glass. Or do you want the glass? <laughs> no, I, get I, got, the... I, get, I got I got the gate. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> Can I poke a worm? That's dry. Where'd you learn to stab? Have you guys not even made a mark yet? Nope. Two people, two hands, walk it over to the trash pile. Don't ding any cars. Trash pile, trash pile, trash pile. All right. So listen, we are pretty much there, but we have to cut here too. So do we just follow this line? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say we do the post next and then under the side glass and then send it. Okay, so let's do the post. Let's just do it. Have you guys cut yet? No, I All right, don't. you guys can have the post. You gotta watch out for that. Rich. All right, arr, cut arr, a line, arr, arr, arr. cut right here, sideways. Put this piece. Oh no, look it, we're gonna hit the seat. I need to connect the battery again. Maybe I should get it started. Is there an airbags in this truck? Probably. There's an airbag right Well, there. we'll find out. Go well, for it. Will it in the face? No, maybe not. I went a little low. Oh, you're not even on near the line. It, it just it just went. It, oh, it took me for a ride. Jeez, you're way below the line. It took me for a ride and I just went along with it. You just ruined this whole project. Ah, oh, this truck is never gonna be sold. Oh, look at that. Oh, jeez, at least you're above that line. I mean, mine is make Yeah, we need to think that. We need to make sure we're above this too. Yeah, this line looks way straighter than the one on the outside. Is it hot? All right, next. Keep going. You have to recut the whole thing to get yeah. back to where you started not, from. Unless I start from that end and hopefully try to get a straighter line this time, but I'm not. I gonna... honestly think we should have started at this line and made it right through. Well, let's just do it and then put a little JB Weld on that. <sighs> Go for it. Watch out, guys. Watch your face, boys. Oh, no! We're on the inside. Shoot! Trim. We hit the trim! Ah, darn it. be okay oh, man. put some bubble gum on it we'll be fine <laughs> nice straight line dad <laughs> Come on. So did i do that straight line that's a lot of copper that's like who knows how many harnesses that connects to and then even if we just try to start it up what are we going to short out we could burn this thing to the ground this thing's going to be stuck here tonight and we cut a ground too our ground's important yeah but i think it just goes to the blower motor like this could just be rear hvac oh it looks like there's freaking pcm there too though fingers crossed freddy We have multiple ways of removing this roof. Number one, the wrong way, which so far we've done this whole project that way. Lift it from the front, flip it off the back, clean up the mess. I think we go sideways. We could destroy the quarter panels though. The only concern I have is it falling in a certain direction and causing some damage. Yeah. yeah. The right way, we could try to put it in the garage, lift the jacks up and- No, that's, that's too logical. Makes too much sense. Nothing about this project's been logical. We're not here to be smart. We're here to have fun. The other thing, I could start this thing up and the airbags freaking explode on me. So we need to pull the airbags. All right, let's pull the airbag relays and then we're gonna see if this thing no, even it starts. It might not even start. Yeah, but are we gonna throw the roof off? I thought that was the plan. I thought you didn't want to because of the dangers. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, let's just keep them out of the way. All right, Why so we're just gonna throw the roof off? I think so. Truth. Will it start? 
Who's gonna reach in there and try to start it? Don't reach through the steering wheel because when the airbag deploys, right, break your arm. it'll break your arm. Yeah. We are definitely gonna have to get rid of this glass. And some fanoodles are a great idea. Black, we'll paint them black. I, I definitely don't think the taillights are gonna work, but just for safety precautions, I just, I pulled the ABS, no, I pulled the airbag and I pulled the rear HVAC relays. Right. We separated the wires here and here. And now we get to try to start it and see if it runs. Everybody stand back. I don't know if these are gonna explode or not. It's so damn dark. All right, so far no fires. Well, I didn't get a spark either, so that's not a good sign. Eddie? D-E-D. -E -D. So, there are a lot of ground in this harness right here, and a big harness that could be pretty important and integral to getting this thing to start, run, <laughs> drive, stop, all so the above. Whatever floats your fancy. We'll see. I tighten the battery, and we got some dings. All right, dings are all good. Right. Everybody stand back. You should wear some earplugs. Yeah, airbags aren't that loud, no. Uh, I'm still nervous about it. Ready? What? Oh my god. It Let's take it a ride. Ooh. You're gonna lose those back windows. Stunned. Do these lights still work? Why right, aren't so you wearing have... seatbelts? Oh, we might have cut through. We might have cut through them. What? Oh my god. Our interior lights still work. Wow. The interior lights still work. So it shifts so smoothly. It shifts. This is a nice truck. And it shifts. Wow, oh, wow. My mind is blown. This, this is a hey, this is a gift that keeps on giving. This is a date car. Are you guys telling me the radio works on this too? Yes. Everything, Everything works. Everything works. Best Everything. project car you've ever made. Alright. You guys gotta follow for part two, because it's everything. dark. We're gonna figure this thing out in the daytime and get some more cleanup work done. Thanks for watching. See you later. Hey, hit the bell for notifications. That way you get notified for part two. We'll see y'all later. Adios.